The last few weeks, I have been playing quite a bit of Animal Crossing New Leaf, and I'm really enjoying it. I think it's at least going to get a mention towards the end of the year. Uh, but I thought today I'd show you some screenshots that I took while messing around today, because I opened the game up for a couple hours, or an hour and a half, give or take, and then I go about my day. I use it as a little jumping off point for my day. Some use it later on in, at night to calm down. It's a nice calming game. So let's have a look at what I've... what I did this morning as I woke up, then went back to bed and all of that. <sighs> so, screenshot the first. Ah, right. What I'm laying on there is a present from my next door neighbour, Buck, who is a lovely man, uh, very lovely, but a little... I don't want to say annoying, but... Yes, annoying. He often asks me over and says, Oh, what do you think of the place? And I say, Oh yeah, looks great. Great. Love it. And he... then sends me random tat. To which then I sell. So I sold that bed because it doesn't fit with my style. Uh, also, it looks like it belongs in a sex dungeon. Moments later, I went back to bed. I don't care for this 7am nonsense. Then Isabel woke me up and said, You have to be a mayor. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about Isabel in a minute. But this is how I address my people. Yes, clearly I have gone insane. So then I started my day. I caught a bug to sell for money as I do normally. Shut up, vegans. I know you hate me already. Buck is my weird wrestling friend and neighbour in this town. We mostly speak about wrestling and... Nope, that's it. Uh... This is the time that he decided he was going to invite himself over. I regret that. Get out! Just open Reese. Come on. Ooh, I love pillaging this town of its resources for my own profit. I mean, don't tell the tax man. <clears throat> he sees you when you're sleeping. Bones, bones. They're Basically gold. Always believe in something, something, other lyrics. Who the fuck are you? Ah, oh, Rhonda is my favourite rhino and favourite resident. She's so sweet and kind and just lovely. Just the loveliest being. Turned sour. Now that Tucker has poisoned the town with this bloody nickname. Ah, oh, it's like Jem and Pam if they were anthropomorphic animals who only speak to me. I 
I'm weird. I hate this loud, swearing, elephant bastard. We aren't spies, it isn't night, and I can't stand your stupid face. Bianca is my second favourite in this town. She's a cat with style. I mean, look at this. It's a lovely home. Minus a bed. Stop looking up my skirt. I always feel bad walking away from a conversation with Blathers. He's the best museum curator, yet I always feel like I'm teasing him with fossils I need to sell for my ability to pay off the loans for my house upgrades. <laughs> okay, well, fuck Blathers. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, about that bass. Ew, I picked up a bug. I killed Dory. You can thank me later. Ew, a bug. I bring you dead bugs and dinosaurs, and you pay through the nose. I bring you fish for dinner, and you turn your nose up at it. What do you want from me? Ah, this is the time that I paid off one of my many, many loans for house expansions. Ah, right. Julian moved in the other day. About the same time, we saw an uptick in the sales of crack in the town. I'm not saying anything. I just have Isabel tracking him down like a bloodhound. Oh, Violet is one of the poorest residents, always saying about how she can't afford things in retail, and... I I just want to give her money and a hug and tell her she's lovely and she's just the best. Well, apart from Rhonda and Bianca and Isabel and me. Right. Isabel is my rock. She runs everything. When I'm busy catching bugs and fishing up boots, she keeps everything in check. But I think she might hand in her notice after that Smash Bros thing. Ah, oh, the town's gonna die. Oh god, it's the loan shark that'll break your legs. How much? I need money. See, this pup is my everything. Some of you may be wondering why I'm not wearing gender conformative clothes. And to you, I say, I don't need to wear trousers. I don't need to wear, you know, things for guys. I can wear whatever I like, whenever I like, and my own independent bitch. So is Isabel, but, you know, that that's a whole different meaning. Anyway, that's, that's basically everything that I've done today. <sighs> I do nothing all day. Anyway, bye!